as many of you guys will already be aware, it's been a really, really long time since we've probably looked at anything new school related, because let's be honest, we've all been waiting a really, really long time, and it's been taking a little bit longer than I think most of us are happy with. But because it's been so long since we've looked at any of the new school pictures, especially the ones that are older, people like Iris here, hi Iris, have not hi. had the opportunity to see many of these pictures because they joined the community later on. Actually, you joined the community like what, like a year and a half into people already knowing the new school was coming? I joined in April last year. I don't know how long that... She announced Two it in years? April 2022. Uh, 2020. April 2020. <laughs> so if you join in April 2022, then. that's yeah, two years after the new school was announced. So that means that you have two years worth of pictures that you haven't seen or looked back on. Now you might have seen some of them yeah, come up in people's much. conversations, of course, but there are many older ones that you may not have ever seen. And when Iris pointed this out to me, I realized there's probably actually a lot of you guys out there too who've never seen them. So today we're going to change that. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beads, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack could be when buying Robux or Premium. Today I am joined by Iris, hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm okay. Good. So I'll leave a link down below you guys to Iris's Twitch channel if you want to go and check out Iris's channel. She streams random games, but you stream Royal High and stuff, don't you, sometimes? So if you want to go yeah. see that, you can go and annoy Iris. So yay. So today we are going to be looking at a tour of the new school through pictures for Iris's benefit. I believe there are 70 pictures that I have today. So it's gonna take a bit of time. 70? Yeah, so buckle up, it's wow, gonna take okay. a while. But we have a bunch of pictures for you guys, especially for those of you who are newer to the community, who may not have ever seen many of these pictures back when Barbie and the dev team were sharing them. Now do bear in mind, of course, there is a good chance that some of these pictures obviously may well not actually be in the new school anymore. Barbie has changed her mind a lot over the last few years. We know that because we've been told that. So do remember that a lot of this may have changed, obviously, when the new school comes out. But you can at least see some of the ideas she has had and some of the progress the developers have made so you can sort of get an idea of how it's going to look when it does eventually come out. And hopefully you guys will find it interesting. So are you ready to get started, Iris? Yes. So we are going to start, see. you guys, right at the beginning, at square one. Okay, Iris, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is not the first ever picture she ever shared, but this oh. is the map. <laughs> that Barbie shared. This is what she drew for how she wanted the new school to look when it first was being planned. Oh. So this was a very early draft and you can see we've sort of got like this like rounded area that has all the dorm doors along the edges. And these are the doors to the class halls over here at the side. Oh. Yeah, so there's meant to be a throne room, which has been talked about a lot in the progress of making the new school. And there's under stairs to go to the dungeon. So you go down to get to the dungeon. And then obviously over here, we have got these hilly streets. I believe that says out of terrain, yeah. And then over here, we've got stables. We have a circle driveway and parking lot. We've seen this gate, and I have a picture of this to show you later on in the video, where it says Royal High, and there's a gate, obviously, to go into the entrance. This presumably isn't gonna be right in front of the school. I imagine when you go inside, this is the interior of this. Um, and then as you can see, there's like guards that will be there at night time. They'll open the gate for you if they wake up, I believe it says. So it says sleeping guards at night open gate for you if they wake up. So I'm not sure exactly what that means, but it's interesting. There's castle walls and a drawbridge. There's rocks, stairs leading to circle driveway with carpet, I believe it says. Climb tower up to the wall and there's a parking lot, etc. Then over here, there's another entrance. It says extra entrance, as you can see. And then there are some classroom hallways over here, the cafeteria, the ballroom, grand entrance to throne room, and then the fountain, of course. There's an art gallery here, a library maybe over here, hedges, waterfalls, and fountain. I can't quite, I think that's with pretty grass, I think. And then it says yeah. lights, slightly sloped grass and terrain, and need tall walls so gate can go up. So it's meant to lift up. Something uh, that I can see that apparently even in the beginning, because I assume that this is a very early like map, uh, there was a fountain as a centerpiece of the new school. Yes, she's had this sort of, so this sort of plan has been in place for a really long time, for years. So I imagine she will have stuck to this sort of core plan, even if she has changed some things about it. But yeah, this was the core plan that Barbie planned out 
very early on for the new school. So are you ready to get started with the pictures? Yeah. Okay, okay. So these aren't necessarily in order because it would have been really hard to put them in order. So I'll explain what each one is in case you don't already know. So first things first, we have got this picture here, which is of Ooh. the locker area inside of the cheerleading room. So when this first got released, we didn't really know exactly where it was. But we do know now that it is the back of the cheer room. So the cheerleaders would be able to go in here to get changed in their lockers. You see the Valkyrie logo at the back. You can see there is a notice board as well. We've got a water fountain and there's like a trash can in the corner. Lots of seats and stuff like that around. It's very, very pretty. And this is the first and time... this time... I, I do too. Right. I was literally it's, about to say that. Actually. It's so pastel. Yeah, it's so, so pastel. This was I the first it. time we got to see the new design, basically, of what was how going to happen. Of the color scheme, basically, the yellow, the blue, the pink, and the white theming yeah. that Barbie has stuck with mostly throughout all the builds that we have seen was sort of solidified when we first saw this picture. So then we also have this one, which is a sort of like larger picture of the same room. So you can see a bit closer mm -hmm. the announcements board, the Valkyries logo, there's a skylight at the top. It's very pretty. And there's like towels and things on the wall at the back, I think they are, or like some sort of clothing. And then obviously you have all of your lockers. So these are not your school lockers, but instead your like gym locker, basically. So like for getting changed yeah. for cheer practice. And then this was the screenshot from Heart Roblox's actual stream of her working oh on the realm so you can sort of see that at the side there's like a corridor that goes along to the right yeah. of that you can't quite see it in the screenshot but that is where the entrance to the cheer room is so it's just on the right of that and i don't know if it's pictured in here but there might be so we'll check that out as well so basically it's larger than it seems in the first couple of screenshots yes it is a much bigger room than you realize it's got a big corridor around the back of it and stuff and it leads out into like the school for example and then this is like the other side so this is the entrance to go through into like the cheer room for example which is empty on this screenshot but was being built eventually and then on the left and right i know what's corridors. in the back well, I think, I think I might have a, oh, this is it. This is the room. Okay, so this is the cheer room. So there's the doors at the left oh. that you just saw. Eventually, she ended up putting mats in here and like purse for you to hold on to, like ballet purse and stuff for practicing, things like that. But Dina and Hart worked on this together at the time and this was to become the cheer room. This is actually a section outside the cheer room of Barbie sitting down next to one of the purses that they're going to put up on the wall. There's lots of inspirational posters that are going to be dotted around the school and this was an example one that was given by a hat on the stream and also i think barbie's there for reference sizing i think then if you go over to the next one this is some of the trophies that are going to be inside the trophy case that Hat roblox made obviously the trophy case is oh. going to be displayed outside of the cheer room and the sports areas is that telescope in one of them i think it's uh like the thing that you use to put your mouth on to like yell oh is it a loudspeaker like a okay. thing yeah like yeah. you use them in like they use them a lot in like cheerleading stuff in america for example like oh, to yell out the yeah, letters or sense. whatever they're spelling or whatever they're chanting that sort of thing uh this was when she was actually making them i don't know why she put them on an island but basically they're here for you to see the oh my gosh i know that green reference. yeah i mean yeah I it's very color. pretty it is nice i'm really looking forward to how this works i'm guessing you're gonna be able to win awards of some kind for doing certain things i don't really know how or what yet but i'm looking forward to figuring out what it's going to be when it does come out because i imagine they won't have scrapped things like this because these take a long time and they're really integrated integral and like small details so i feel like there's no way that they'll just scrap these personally now this is the outside area of one of the campus parts that barbie was working on now this was 2020 so you know you should definitely take this with a grain of salt you know it's very right very old as you can see the name of it in the file at the top left says castle layout 2020 and this is sort of where she was up to at the time uh, obviously we know now that the school has changed a bit from this but it does look a little bit like this from what we've seen because if you guys remember when the little game like card thing website you know the cash cash star website you remember when it updated to show royal high's new game icon on it and everybody went crazy because it showed the new game icon well that new game icon had this castle in the background but much more detailed and much bigger than this so i think that's probably yeah. confirmation that this is going to be what the outside is probably going to look like even in the final version of the school i'm noticing it. that those are the same lamples well they're very similar to the lamples that we see in divinia park this so is. funnily enough these lamp posts were made by heart roblox and she actually did a whole stream just making those lamp posts in 2020 she worked really mm -hmm. hard to make them perfect and i distinctly remember how long it took her to pick the right colors and decide how they were going to be but you will see see in these screenshots that those lamp posts are basically everywhere inside the new school so i think it's pretty clear that those are going to be a common thing that is going to be 
utilized throughout the school. This is a zoomed in area of the like entrance gate. So I do think that vibe made the gate much bigger than this. And this is like a side entrance. But you can see we've got the big Valkyrie wings, which is something we've come to know now is going to be a big part of the new school. She really wanted to have a mascot, make it feel like really realistically school themed, if that makes sense. She wanted it to be like a actual American high school, if that makes sense. It feels like in this screenshot, the scale is made for the old like basic Roblox models. You know, it's much bigger now, and that's hands. for sure. Yeah, I am imagining that the move from Royal High being a Roblox like Roblox centric game. I'm not sure if I'm explaining myself properly, but basically, you know how in the past few years, more and more sets were released where the legs are custom, uh, the arms are custom, yep, yep, and yep. the legs are usually much taller. They've moved away from using like Roblox's default models heavily and moved into using their own things for sure. Yeah. So I'm guessing that all new school builds have been adapted to I should uh, I should fit imagine. around that. I should imagine they will, yeah. And that's one of the people have to remember as well. When people have always say, like, the new school shouldn't take this long, just give us new content. Every time they give us new content and bring you new things, they've got more adaptations to have to make yeah. for the new school to make that new content fit and work in the new school. Because, like, this yeah, early this new school, so would not you would not be walking through that door with your butterfly heels on. I'm sorry <laughs> to say, but you No, would definitely really not. Yet. So, you know. So this is something that I believe a developer mentioned they don't know if they're gonna do this anymore. But all of the video stars, or specifically the people who are uh, featured in Royal High as a creator, Royal Dior actually had the idea for this, and this is why Barbie shared it on, on Twitter when Royal oh Dior God. suggested it. Essentially, these are meant to be like all the YouTubers or content creators with their own like star, kind of like walk of fame kind of style. I don't know if they're still mm -hmm. gonna do this because like, they've, they've had sort of like a heavy move away i think people know by now from being i guess involved with influencers and making influencer things yeah. in game they've kind of stopped yeah. making in-game influencer stuff so which is sad i think the problem I mean, I is that when see... somebody gets something other people feel bad and i think that's the problem yeah yeah i can see why they have decided to move away from focusing too much on influencers but at the same time it's a bit sad yeah, for example, I think that a lot of people, they get, people get jealous very easily when certain creators get things yeah. in games. And I think that a lot of games have started moving away from putting influence items in games for that reason. It's become very complicated, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So this is the gate that I was telling you about in the drawing. So in the like drawing sketch that she showed where the gates were there, oh. this was the gates shown with that big circular driveway that she mentioned. And then the drawbridge at the front. Now, obviously we know the castle has to be a lot bigger than this now because- Yeah, this is 2022, this is very old. Yeah, so this is, yeah, I'm back from 2020. It's very old, but it is pretty beautiful. And you can at least get an idea here of the kind of vibe they're going for. I love the gate, for example, with the wings and the RH in the middle of it. I just think that's really gorgeous. I think they did a really good job with that, personally. Uh, this was one of the original first ever screenshots Barbie ever shared of the new school. And people always use this screenshot in memes nowadays when they like make memes of like <laughs> saying the new school's out and they'll edit the character like stood in it. This is like what they always I use. See, I see a very familiar water, water pattern um, yeah. coming out of, you know. They've used this for a long time. This like water style and the fountain and like the little balls of water sort of coming out to represent the fountains. Mm -hmm. I think probably because it's just a bit less laggy than actual like flow on flowing water than the like balls. Oh yeah, Also they look nice too. So, you know, mm -hmm. I like it. This is a key that originally a lot of people thought was for the dungeons, but I think ended up being used for a music box that they made because they had like this cauldron, which I'm going to show you later on. And it was something to do with like these, this color theme. This room here is a art room um, or a music room. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the music room. I think you can see like over there, there's actually another angle uh, of this. So if you look at this, it's the other angle. This is on the front. It may be music, there's yeah. There's piano there. I see the piano. And there's like a and the chair there. The, like, standing podium thing as well for like people to orchestrate and stuff um so this mm. is obviously very beautiful this i believe was also called the rainy day classroom in a lot of the work because it's Wait, raining outside so hang on so this is the rainy day classroom that you can see in the list of realms in Rome. i believe so yeah so all those like realms the reason why people think that is because you can clearly see it's raining all around it and it has an open like glass roof for you to see oh yeah this is one I, of the only noticed, ones we've yeah. ever seen that rains so people assume that this is the rainy day classroom, yeah. And I don't know if that's what it's going to be called. I'm sure it'll probably be called like music or something like that. 
or theater or whatever. But yeah, this is what is listed as the rainy day classroom in the listing on Roblox. Mm -hmm. And then this is the outside of that classroom. You can see from some angles that there are some um, like windows that show sort of the outside with this maze area. And there's a big waterfall at the bottom. It is a huge, huge, huge area. This is another one of those old screenshots, as I mentioned before. So this is one of the older ones from 2020. Yeah, this is one of the really old ones that Barbie was working on very early on in like, I think like, I don't remember when this was. I think it's, uh, it's July. So this was July, yeah, uh, 2020. So this was a couple of months after she announced the school and she was showcasing a lot of the early builds for it, which we know have changed drastically and don't look like this anymore. But it's still nice to get to see. You can see the dream fountain in the center there at the top, right in the middle. And we know mm -hmm. obviously now that the fountain has been renamed and it has been shown in some things, hasn't it? There's, there's been some literature in game on some items um, that showed that it's been renamed to a new name. I did not know this, probably because I never read the item descriptions. <laughs> So Sorry, Barbie, Barbie. And Barbie announced at some point last year that the Dr Fountain of Dreams, which is what it's called now, would be renamed because the Fountain of Dreams is a name used in one of the games she took reference from when she was building the stuff. So she didn't mm -hmm. want it to have like any kind of copyright attachment. I believe that's what this story was. Um, it was just renamed to the Dream Fountain. So it's not like, you know, a drastic change in name. But it is in some of the newer item descriptions called the Dream Fountain instead of the Fountain of Dreams. So, yeah. Uh, these are the keys again that I mentioned earlier that were being done. And there was mention that they were for um, the dungeons and there was mention that they were for some other things. I don't think anybody really knows what they're actually for. But I know that there was a key made for a music box at some point. Yeah, I see one of them is shaped like a hat and the other one is shaped like a star. Yeah, I literally have no idea why. This was Barbie showing off what it looks like to sit, I suppose, in one of the sitting areas inside of the then new school. There is also a character up on the left up there that you can sort of just see, which I guess is mainly for size reference. Barbie tends to put like characters in the realm around, you'll notice, so that you can see the size references of things. Mm -hmm. So interesting to note. This again is Barbie from another angle. I think she was like streaming at the time and people were taking screenshots of the actual stream itself. And then again, another angle of the sort of entrance area. This is after you've walked into the new school. So you know that obviously this is definitely not what it looks like anymore because this is just too old looking now to fit with what Barbie creates nowadays and what the devs make now, it just wouldn't work. This is the same area from a bird's eye view, as you can see. And this is her showing oh, all the different purses um, in the seats. So um, depending on where you sit, depending hi. on the purse you get. That's kind of the I idea. didn't know that I didn't know that she had a uh, twin sisters. Well, they wouldn't be well, twins, would they? They'd be triplets. Yeah. Um I don't <laughs> know what's it, what is it called? Triplets. Yeah. But she has well you did you say she has triplets? I actually don't know <laughs> what you would make say. Sense. I guess she, you would say like I don't know, like would you say like twin topple sisters or something? Or Repulses? I actually have no idea. If anybody knows the answer anyway, to that question, well, please let us know. I guess this is to show us uh, more than one person can sit on the bench. And also the different animations that you do when you sit. Because depending on oh. where you sit, you do a different animation, as you can see. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I see it. Yeah. So I guess that animations probably will get carried over into whatever the build ends up being. This is a oh. cave area that was um, hinted to be either in the dungeon or to be one of the elemental obbies. Because we know that they announced that there's going to be a bunch of elemental obbies. Because the elemental obbies will be how you essentially choose what element you're going to be when you join the school. And if you want to change element, you'd have Wait. to go through the obbies too. So you have to complete an obby to choose your element. That was kind of the point, yeah, that, that we were told early on. I don't know if they've stuck with that point, but... Barbie sort of, I think Barbie wanted the whole thing to be that you can choose your first element, but that she wanted to make it so that it was slightly more complicated to change. Uh, so if oh, you want to change, see. you've okay. got to go through the obby, I think, to prove yourself in order to be part of the new thing. But also some people said that you go through the obbies and there was a leak a long time ago of like pictures that were shown that showed different types of like scepters and stuff. So people wondered if maybe they were elemental scepters. People wondered if maybe you go into the obbies to actually win the elemental scepter for each element mm. and that winning it entitles you to be able to be part of that element. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you I won't want... only be able to be more than one or you, maybe you can only be one. And if, we're not going to know until it comes out, of course, but yeah. I want to get scepter now. Why well, do we have to wait so long? I have a scepter. We have scepters now. No, we don't. Yes, we do. The teleport scepter doesn't count. What and also, the there's the old scepter. Scep um, okay. Okay, point taken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
So then this is another angle of that same cave. Then there is some angles here of Hart like walking around inside it. This is meant to be the dungeons. You may have heard about the dungeons. Nobody really knows what they're going to be yeah. used for, but we know that the it's school has chains. dungeons, basically. Yeah, there's like prison cells in there. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it's if you don't hand in your homework or something on time. <laughs> you go to like the prison Gosh. cells in the dungeon. <laughs> That's uh, a very high stakes um, method of schooling. <laughs> well, it makes sure you do your homework, I guess. And then this was sort of as she was coming towards completing that sort of area. You can see on the top right up there, there is actually a sign. I believe we did get to see that sign up close once. And it said something like the dormitories or it said and there's like a door that says something about like campus west or the west campus and then the north campus that's how people started to figure out that there's going to be more than one campus area because it's going to be like a north south east and I, west and so on i see the triplets in the background tool yeah and it's quite terrifying this is another dungeon picture from heart roblox that was shared when they were in oh. progress building it that looks really cool and terrifying and these were the prison cells inside oh. the dungeon Wow, um, wow. This is what I guess the key Do your homework, kids. Do your homework. Uh, this is Hat Roblox working on some of the furniture pieces, or specifically, Ooh. like, plants and things like that, the vines, the chandeliers, that all get put around the hull of the school. So the idea was that they created lots of different variants that they could then re-utilize around the whole school sort of idea. I imagine I a lot like of these will still be used. I feel like at least two of those have been used in the actual game. I think like she, the they may have pulled some of them in flowers. and used them, yeah, yeah, in other updates. Especially ones that Hart has worked on. This is some of the wallpapers that were made. Now, I don't know if, I don't think Hart made these. I think she was utilizing ones that uh, Xchurka had made. A lot of the textures and like wallpapers are made by Xchurka. So this was, I can't remember if this was the first showcase of the throne room of the meet and greet realm, because the meet and greet realm was supposed to be included with the new school. Then we were told it isn't going to come with the new school. And then now we Wait, don't know. Is it not going to be included in the new school? We don't know anymore because they don't answer the question oh. about it anymore. They just say they don't know. So at, the, at first it was going to be in the new school and then it was not going to be in the new school. And then it was going to be released at a different time in like a later update. And then now it's kind of like a thing where just nobody really knows. So we're just sort of waiting oh. until we find out. I think that most of the update, most of the new school, most of the new campus, most of the new stuff coming is the same. It's just a, we have no idea kind of thing nowadays. Like back then we used to have a lot of dates that we had in mind, a lot of things that we knew were happening. I think nowadays it's safe to say none of us have a clue and we're just all waiting until the developers sort of tell us what they're gonna do next. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, the wallpaper things as like they were being put into use, like the little trims and stuff that are being used throughout the school. And then there was a hat was putting like curtains up and stuff inside. And I think Jam Jam was working on some stuff as well on some of these streams. This one might have been Jam Jam's actually. This, this looks really cute, like this whole room. It is very, very pretty. And then over here, we have got some more of these areas as they were working on it. We have like the, th this is the throne room I remember now. So this was like the- It's so sparkly, area. everything. It is very sparkly. I think Vionchi works on most of the sparkles and the glittery stuff to be added in, so. Then we have, this was the cauldron I was mentioning to you. Now, there was apparently some information shared a while ago that this cauldron actually ended up being put inside of the Wickery Cliffs mansion in one of the rooms that you could like as like, um... just as like a prop inside of the mansion. And I remember, I remember, well, I went in, in the first release of Wickery Cliffs, the first time it came out, I entered the mansion. I went into the mansion and did find the cauldron. I don't know if for sure it is the same cauldron or not, but it certainly looked similar anyway. These were some of the hairs that Ready the Teddy was working on for the new score to be released. I don't know if any of these ended up coming out already um, or I've, if... I feel haven't. like I have just one of them at least. But we will never know for sure. The one in the very middle. Yeah, it's the one that I thought was already in game two. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that Reddy has made a bunch of new hairs and stuff for the new score. At least back then they did. I don't know what's going to happen to them, if they're still going to be used. I'm not sure. I kind of miss this area of Royal High when the developers used to share their progress with us and stream yeah. for us. It gave us so much to talk yeah, about as well. Yep. This was the cauldron as oh. the outside was added. But I believe this particular one of this this 
image here actually end up turning out to be a music box and not a cauldron and the key goes in the side of it and then it opens up and there's like a dancing little girl or something on the top like a ballerina i believe is what actually happened to this mm -hmm. so yeah a bit, bit varied from what it looks like uh this was the beginnings of the art room you can see like the paints and stuff going into the shelves and stuff and then this as you can see is then writing out the text for the mm -hmm. art room and then mm -hmm. this is the stuff being put onto the shelves. I'm trying to go along because I know that it gets more detailed. Yeah, so there's like so the cute. easels and stuff. So that would be the screen that you'd have to copy in your art class, obviously. And then there's a sewing machine at the back. So I guess that that sort of indicates that they're recognizing more than one type of art here, rather than just like physically drawn art. They've got like a sewing machine and stuff. So like textiles mm -hmm. and stuff like that are being recognized as art too, which is nice. And then we I have the giant, what did you say, sorry? I want this oh, now. Me too. <laughs> this is the giant basketball court and theater stage at the back there, which has all the bleachers and stuff. You know, most American schools have a place like this, uh, like a stadium sort of thing for indoor sports. Are we like basically, basketball. are we basically gonna be able to play basketball in Royal High? Uh, for a class? I have no idea, but I know that the cheer stuff Jam Jam did work on actual animations that allow you to move like a cheerleader, so they might have done it for the same for the other ones too. This is an example of one of the locker designs, that early lockers, where you were able to customize them fully with stickers and things like that. It was an early design, so I'm not sure if oh. it's still going to be in use, but it's nice to see. Okay. This is from Night Barbie Stream, so as you can see, it's directly taken by Sticks and Tricks back in the day from Barbie Stream of shoes being added in to the closets that are going to be actually available inside of either the dorms or the spa area. This mm -hmm. is meant to be the code lock for the um, lockers. Yeah. So the new version. Yeah, I can see that. And then we have some little items that will go inside the lockers. Some of the accessories that you'll be able to put in for decorating the inside of your locker. So like pots of scissors or other little things and more bits and bobs that you need. Pens, paper, books, things like that. This was the progress for the intro cutscene that happens. People have talked about this a lot. So it's 11.59. On the about to become the person's birthday and it ticks over to midnight a present appears saying that it's from mom i believe it said and most people assume that it is an invitation to go to royal high at some point on your mm. birthday basically i'm guessing that means that there's gonna be some kind of basic character customization right before the cutscene i should hope so that would be cool this is the outside of that cutscene area and then this is that like closet spa sort of area that was being developed by Jam Jam and Barbie. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this one's built by Jam Jam Jew. And then this is the other side of it. So this is meant to be like, I guess you like, uh, your closet, I guess. It's so big. And then this is the. I need this screen. in my life. What it looks like, if you look over at the right, there's some chairs to sit and stuff to do your hair and things like that. It looks to me like it's the updated spa, like a new version of a spa, basically. Mm -hmm. Very, very pretty. And then we've got another picture of the side of the front of the school taken from Barbie's stream when she was working on the front of the school area. We have another one here of the front again. This is Castle of the Valkyries now. And then this was when Heart Robux was making the furniture for the dorms. So this is because the furniture is fully customizable for you to choose how you want your dorm layout to be. So the whole point of this was that there's like there's the option for like the cloudy rainy day sort of stars and stuff like that and there's like the dark moons and stuff options if you wanted to there was also like under the sea options and things too this was a fire truck bed if you wanted one so inside there's a bed okay and then there's like a fire truck that you can climb up on top of again I'm not sure why but why not this is I the mean, entrance some people to the like this theme oh yeah for sure this is the entrance to the dorms so you can walk up to those stairs eventually there were some chairs and things put in it did say we're all high dorms on the front this has also mm. been hinted to be the front of the dorms, and there was oh my gosh. some there was some hints that Beffy Vier's voice actor had something to do with this area too. So potentially that she was going to be voice acting a character in here. This is so cute. It is beautiful. Then we have lava lamps and some plants that were being made for furniture items for you to place down. And then this was the under the sea section um, of furniture for you to put in your dorm rooms mm -hmm. as well. Although the cube part of the bed sheets kind of make me feel a bit weird. And then this was the OG lockers. Way before she decided to redesign them and make them super customizable. This was the very early new school lockers that she wanted to make. But then she decided mm -hmm. to do them obviously more customizable than that. Again, OG new school. Now this picture is funny because if you click across, you can see it as it became a thing. So this was before it became a thing. Before she actually put anything in it. And then after when she actually added all the stuff to it. Mm. So yeah, again, unfortunately mostly scrapped. And probably won't ever see it, I don't think. There's one of the guards, like, um, a Knight of Shining Armor thingies, I guess. Um, Have I seen this before? Davinia had a guard, so 
you've played a fake Divinia game with me before that had a guy in the entrance, and that's what Divinia used to have. So. Oh, yeah. These are the banners why. that have been teased to be used uh, inside the school, like hanging from the walls and stuff. And then these were, again, the early gates and stuff for the entrances to the school, which obviously have been scrapped and replaced with something much more modern. Yeah, and much they, seem, yeah they seem much smaller these than are much more anything basic. that's been built since. Then we have this like corridor again, which was replaced by Barbie with something else. And then we're back to the beginning again. So thank you guys so much for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped to give you a proper tour of everything that you can at least expect in the design style of the new school. Naturally, I imagine a lot of it has changed since then, but at least we can get an idea for what is going to be coming when it finally releases. What did you think, Iris? Did you like that? Did you enjoy getting to see it for the first time, probably, some of those? It's also really... I just can't wait to have it in my hands and be able to play with it. I know. You know? This is why so many people have waited so long and some people are quite impatient. I get it because it is very exciting. I really can't it's wait until it finally years. releases. It is beautiful. I know it's been nearly three it's... years, so hopefully we finally get it soon. Fingers crossed. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click the bell. And of course, you stack code B when buying Robux or Premium. It means a lot to me. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. And make sure you go and check out Iris's channel. I'll leave a link down below. We'll see you all next time. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you guys lots, little means. Goodbye. Bye.